Well, hello friends, David Vos here. And, uh, oh, I forgot to put my gloves on. We're gonna do another painting today. It's gonna be a little different than what we've been doing. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. It's, uh, the sun is shining today. It rained yesterday pretty good. And I'm um, feeling good. And uh, spirits are high. And I hope yours is, your day is well, you're feeling good. Um, today, I'm not going to do another one like I did before. Oops, I already ripped, ripped the glove. I'm not even sure I need the glove today, but I'm not going to just pour a bunch of paint on there. I'm going to use some paint brushes and paint a picture. It's not oils. I usually use oils. And I'm a little different than my dad used to paint oil paintings. But he used to, sometimes you'd look at a picture. Um, he didn't improvise a little bit, but most time you'd look at a picture from a, a magazine or something. And I used to do that a little bit. Sometimes when I do animals, I need to look at a picture because I can't always do an animal out of my head. Sometimes I can. Especially if it's cartoonish or fantasy, you can usually do stuff. But, um, I've noticed that my work ends up being a little more fantastic. A little brighter colors than real life colors. Maybe the mountains are a little higher than, um, uh, real life colors. So I went to the store and got some of these acrylic paints. And I'm going to go ahead and just start by... This is kind of a new thing. I've never used acrylics. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, the one thing I've come to know or believe or feel is that when you're painting, there's not any real one way to do anything. You know, it's not just one way. Like you go to college and learn how to paint. And they tell you how to do it. It's a creative thing. And so you do it your way. And besides, the whole thing is fun. It's supposed to be fun. That's what it's about. So see, we've almost got a sky on there already. Look at that. See? If you just left it just like that. See how this... You let... Just like we learned with those other paintings we did. You more or less... Let it let the paint fall where it may is my motto in a lot of cases. You don't want to spend there's two different types of painting, and like I said, I, I've done both. One way is you sit and you do detail and you make sure that you you sit and do all the detail. You maybe you're trying to make it look more real. But you know, sometimes you can make it look more real by letting it just flop it on there and uh, nature ends up making something better than you could have done it yourself just by happenstance it just ends up coming about so I have no I'm not looking at a picture I'm just I just thought well let's say start with a sky you know why not I don't think I have a lot of white left in here. Um, so we're going to start with the sky. And uh, see what we come up with. I haven't done a lot of painting in my life, so I don't have a lot of technique. Uh, maybe that someone might have if they've spent years doing it. But I watched my dad do it. He was pretty good at it. So... You can, you can just try different things, see what happens, you know? But, um, you know, this is about feeling good about yourself. Unless you're trying to start a business as an artist, that'd probably take you a while to make any kind of money. But, um, 
mostly painting should be about, you know, how it makes you feel. You know? Whether you feel good about it. These little techniques are just... The real technique is to let it flow. To learn to just let things flow. You know? Learn to... So... I don't know. We'll keep playing with this just a little bit. I know you're not supposed to play too much with it. But uh, sometimes you just need to kind of blend it in a little bit. Yeah. And uh, see what happens. Now, my dad taught me never to use black. Now, when you're using oils, I think that's a good idea. I don't think you should ever use black because black, when you're using oil paints, once you put one little dab of black, it gets in there, gets in all the other colors, and it's hard to get rid of it. I mean, it's just too dark. But with acrylics, I think you can use it sometimes, a little bit here and there. You need to. But when you're using oils, I think it's better to use something like a burnt sienna or something, a dark, dark color. Um, I don't know. Let's just put a mountain in here. You know, let's just put, put a mountain in here. Okay, see that was a little dark black, but uh, I'm just putting a dab. That's why it's not really, because I'm a little leery about black. Let's start with that. Probably need to put some blue on here. And again, most, you know, you can use a little, the artist, uh, a little plate that's got little compartments for each color and people do that um, but I I'm not an organized person in real life you know and um, so I'm not what I'm just I kind of I'm very I guess I'm an impatient kind of thing I want to see what what I'm doing and I want to see it quick and so I'm more, I tend more to want to paint stuff that, um, um, that I can see results right away. So, uh, rather than doing deep, deep, serious details and getting it all perfect, I prefer doing it quickly. And using certain techniques to make it to make it look more detailed than it really is. So um, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. See, I don't have any real dark, dark blue. That's why I don't like acrylics very well. It's hard to get the right color. The colors aren't like the oil colors. Oils are brilliant more expensive too. See, I'm having to mix the colors so right on the screen there. Let's see what we can do to get a darker blue out of this. We'll put some blue here and we'll add some hmm let's add a little bit of purple. I guess we'll have to add some I don't know Add some green. I'm just trying to get a darker blue. It's not, not getting the color out of it that I want. Of course, the little Walmart where I go to, they don't have a lot of colors. So there may be a lot a lot of um, better colors at a different Walmart or a different, maybe a Hobby Lobby has better colors to choose from. It's a little bit. better maybe you want to make the darker colors in the background and that's called depth you want the painting to look like you know like it's a long ways off so coloring has a lot to do with it 
You want depth, color. Proportion is a very important thing. You can't have something really big that's way in the background that's out of step with the rest of the proportion. That's the, the important things when you're doing a painting that you have to think about. So we want the darkest color in the back. So to start with this mountain, we put in some, you want different shades to come in. And um, put a sort of a bigger mountain here. See, I tend to make big, fantastic mountains. Bright colors. Very van fantastic fantasy world that comes out when I paint a lot. Well, I'm about out of paint here already. It's a little too pointy there. So we'll just kind of do it that way. Uh, so consistency would be a good word that you'd want to make sure you're having a consistency. You don't want things to look contrived. You want it to look real. We're going to assume that there might be a little snow on top of some of these mountains. Probably need to get a smaller brush to do some of this. Just, you know, let it flow. <laughs> just let it flow. And it just looks, just it kind of gives the impression that, because this is way in the distance. We're talking miles away. So and nothing has to be um, perfect, you know. We're, we're, we have to remember that um, a little blotch of white. Can, with some streaks and stuff, look like rocks and stuff in the background, you know? And so perhaps the, the mountains in the background, way in the background, would be the, small, the hardest to see, so you don't have to make a lot of detail. Sort of illusions. Life is about illusions, anyway. I think... A lot of things that we do in life is like it's like painting. We're trying to make the best of of um, stuff that's going on. Illusions. Still somehow. Do, 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 do. Really don't know how. What are we missing here? I opened a bottle of green and I closed it back, I guess. That's what we're missing. Get some more of this color. Just illusions. Still somehow. I don't remember the song I'm trying to sing. So, got to make something a little darker here. Hmm. Try a little red in there. This just makes you feel better about yourself. You know, anytime you can accomplish something, it just makes you feel good. When you can paint something that's beautiful, you say, see, I can do something. I'm not worthless, like they tell me. You start to believe what Jesus told us, that we're worth something. Boy, he got mad at those Pharisees, didn't he? Ooh -wee. That's my daughter. Don't you stone my daughter. She's worth something. Okay, now that's darker. That's what should have been in the background. So we'll start over again, because... Finally, it's hard for me to mix these colors because I've never painted with acrylic. 
And sometimes you can have darker mountains in the foreground because it looks like there's some shadows. Maybe the sun, you know, is uh, being blocked by a cloud or something. I think we need to put a big old Matterhorn right here. How about that, guys? I love fantastic, beautiful mountains. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, there are people that take days to paint a picture. We're going to try and do this painting in just, what, 30 minutes or something, or an hour less than an hour. I don't know how long it's going to take to do this. Little snow-capped mountains. But, yeah, Jesus was pretty upset with those religious leaders that thought they were better than everybody else, you know? Because nobody's better than anybody. Nobody. We're all the same. I'm sorry, but it's true. We're just, we're just all human beings, you know? I got a friend, <laughs> His, he, he has a saying, and I love that saying. And ever since he told me it, I've, I've used it. And that is that we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. Hmm. Uh, try to get the knack of this acrylics. It dries real quick too, I noticed. Some color in there. Okay, we'll put a mountain here in the foreground. Hopefully this mountain will be a little greener. Um, a little bit greener than the, the background. Because the background, you're not going to see trees. Because it's so far in the background. As you get closer, you're going to make mountains that might be a little greenish. Because you might be noticing from a distance some kind of... Uh, the appearance of trees on the mountains or something. I'm just trying to get some kind of interesting color. Just a greenish color to start with. Not so peaceful out here in Oklahoma where I'm at. You don't hear anything, do you, right now? Boy, at night, though, it's noisy. Frogs creaking and crickets and all kinds of strange animals making noises. Hmm. Helps if you can afford good brushes too. You don't have little hair sticking out. So we're building um and we'll kind of get more and more green in the foreground. Lighter green. It's real relaxing to paint though. This is the way I normally paint. Start painting. I don't even know what I'm going to paint when I start. Putting colors on the green. and See what happens. Sometimes... If you look at something you've already done, you'll see, you'll almost imagine that there's something there that you didn't, that you could accentuate. Maybe put a little snow on it, see like a little cliff, you know? Just add, add something to it. Hmm. Oils, you have a little bit of kerosene, or uh, turpentine, I'm sorry, and you can thin the paint down as you go. You know, I think that's the problem with our society these days. 
it has been for a long, long time, is that somebody's been telling human beings for a long time that um, you got to be good. This is what we expect from you. You know, and you're just not good enough if you don't do these things the way we tell you to do them. So, I don't know. It, it, it has really hurt mankind putting all these arbitrary rules. Because, you know, if there's something we're supposed to do, we probably would have, instinctually would have, would know to do it. Somebody has to tell you, you have to wonder what their, what their interest is in the whole thing. What is their interest? Why do they want you to do this and that? Right? The bank says, oh, we'll give you a loan, but we're going to charge you 8% interest. Well, what, you know. You know. Maybe there's an ulterior motive there. Governments promoting religions, like the Roman Empire did. You know, you look at the United States and you say, oh, but we don't promote religion. We have a freedom of, you know, separating of church and state and so forth. But, um, you know, if you really think about it, um, we've been promoting a various numbers of religions. And we, we have been, you know, looking at it as though, well, they're all different. Can't be run by the government, all these different religions. Well, look at Billy Graham. Going to the White House and giving speeches and praying for the president and so forth. There's always been a little bit of a, um, you know, an implication in our government that it's okay to be a Baptist or or something. You know, that's implied that, well, this is a normal thing. Go ahead and do it. So we're not really promoting one religion, we're promoting a bunch of them that all have the same, more or less the same, uh, same law, right? The Judeo-Christian system, which is, don't lie, but of course, you can lie to your neighbor, nobody's going to take you to jail for that. You can lie to your wife, you can lie to your husband, you can lie to your kids. It's not really about you can't lie, but don't you lie to the government. Are you telling the truth? You know? And now, these standards that they wanted to use against Americans for years, we put people in the magistrate court. We went before Her Majesty. They're now being, the chickens are coming home to roost and now one political party is using these, oh, he lied, the presidents, to, you know, each other. They're not even religious. They're hypocrites. They're, oh, he lied, but, you know, of course, they lied even worse, right? They lied even worse. So it's a big, you know, a lot of these things we can't, for the life of us, see through. You know, we can't see through. And we, we, so we feel guilty. Well, they say, I'm going to hell. My church says I'm going to hell. Okay, but if you're going to hell, you're going to have a lot of company. Because it looks to me like an awful lot of people are going to be there, are going to be there with you. So, I don't know what kind of place you think that might be with hell. You know, fire shooting up and People lying around in agony, and this is ridiculous, right? But we believed it for all these years. You're going to see the devil in his pitchfork, you know? I don't want to get a pitchfork for. He's a devil. What do you need a pitchfork? He don't have a pitchfork, of course. He don't have a pitchfork, of course. Of course, of course, is a horse is of course, a horse is a course of course. It's all a bunch of lies, friends. The universe 
is one beautiful, beautiful thing. It's intelligent and everything that comes from the universe is part of the universe and it's taken care of by the universe. Hmm. I find this to be a little more difficult than painting with oils. The first time I painted with acrylics this way. <clears throat> um, just put some smears, smear it around, and make it look like. You know, I've got to take these plastic gloves off because they're um, they, they cut the circulation off and they're sweaty. I just don't need that. Yeah, I don't mind getting a little messy. There are some things I do like about painting with acrylic, so I kind of like that it dries fast, you know. Still got a little time to work with it. Yeah, starting to get a little, a little better here. Hmm. So, um, just play with it. See, it's starting to take form and kind of look real and, and, uh, but, um, different colors. Paint a little, uh, I'm going to try something right here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we'll just... Make mountains all the way down, you know. Let's uh, pour out some blue because we're taking too long to get some of this. Put that down and use this one for a minute. See, it, it, it dries real fast. I don't even have a cup of water here. I'm just using the paint stri straight on there. So... Maybe that looks like a little bit of grass there or something. Colors, colors, colors. Beautiful colors. Oh, I love colors. Colors. Here in the spring in Oklahoma, we have a lot of hmm, colors in the spring. Um, the dogwoods begin to bloom oh i love that there's some red bushes and kind of half bush half tree things that grow around here the spring flowers oh boy it's beautiful 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 So flowers is one thing that I really enjoy. Hmm. Now. Um, what else can we do here? A little bit more. Hmm. Interesting. Getting down into some, uh, this, some of this paint dried here. It's made a big spot. Hmm. So that's why you don't use that as a 
paint board to mix paint. So now we take a little bit darker green. Remember the darker is in the back, so we'll make some heels. Probably snow. This is probably Alaska, wouldn't you say? So we're going to be snow. So we got to make sure that it looks a little snowy. Hmm. Scratch that. Let's try that again. Let's use this uh, smaller brush. See if we can make a little bit of a river in here. Hmm, I wonder what this is going to look like. You know? Hmm. Need a little paint on here. Hmm. Interesting. We need is a smaller. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah. Alrighty. Hmm. And not to worry so much about you know, details, but just put some strokes on there. Different strokes for different folks. Now, keep the flies off of it. So, just got the illusion now of some mountains and a creek, perhaps running in to a lake. Uh, so now what we need to do is get this little brush here and get some green color for like tree color. And let's see if we can put some trees. A little bit of detail. You don't have to have all kinds of detail, but sometimes it's good to put a little detail. Just make it look like there's some trees back there. Just a little bit. Well, I'll be darned. I'll probably... Doing this painting out here in this peace and quiet, and I'm missing, I'm probably missing the impeachment trial or something on TV, huh? Is that important? Could we be watching the impeachment trial? And, and I do mean the impeachment of Joe Biden, of course, as you all probably know. Just the illusion, some trees. Not to actually have trees, just the illusion of trees. You know, sometimes in your, the Alpine Mountains, you don't have a lot of trees up in the up in the uh, tops of the mountains. You know, so you don't have to do a lot. So sometimes you can just do that and uh, looks like trees and then every so often put the illusion of a tree in there you know <sighs> so 
sometimes if you make the river too wide up up top because you couldn't get you know you can narrow it down by doing a little trick like that just the illusion of some trees that's all we need just the illusion as you come down you make them a little bigger you know a little bigger trees in the foreground You know, kind of give it depth, you see, just the illusion of trees. Just the illusion. Maybe all you need. See, just the illusion. Trees are so easy. That's one of my favorites. I can do trees really good because they're just. You know, they don't have to be exact. No trees are exact. There's no such thing as exact. Okay, and then sometimes you gotta put a little brown in there because one of the best things in the world for anything is a little white. Okay, maybe that's a little bit. Nah, I need a different something like uh, different brush here. Try this. Yeah. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees. Older than the mountains, running like the breeze. Country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Mountain Mama, take me home, country road, I hear, dear, in the morning hour she rides me, radio reminds me of my home, far away, driving down the road, I should have, <laughs> don't remember any of the words, I'm literally, I don't, I don't listen to the radio. It's been so many years. When was that song on the radio? <laughs> I don't sing much either. So, okay, well that's not right. I thought it was brown, but I got, that's burnt, burnt umber, which is a good color to have in oils. It seemed like the same thing here. Not the same thing, is it? Not really. This is not your father's Buick. Ah, a little bit of shadowing here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Trees, trees, trees. You've got to have trees. Isn't it right? You've got to have trees. You don't have trees, you don't have nothing. Isn't it right? Why in the name we've got lots of trees. We've got trees in the sky even. Just look up in the air, you'll see it. Oh, Rocky. Hmm. 
Sometimes it just overwhelms me. You know, I just don't know what I'm doing. Am I making a tree? Or is it a rock? I don't know. Is it a rock? Does it look like a rock to you? Well, then you're some kind of a nincompoop because I'm making a tree. It's a bloody tree. Now oh, you look and it, see it. It's, it's a bloody tree. I don't know what it is now. Hmm. hmm. We've got to make it look like pine needles now, don't we? Does that look like pine needles to you? Not to me, really, but... What can I say? I'm only a painter. I've got no control. It just comes out what it wants. It just comes out what it wants. If it wants to come out right, it does. With oils, this is a lot easier for me. Doesn't take me near the time. But oils are very expensive. You start painting with oils. Hmm. All righty. Um. Boom. What do you think, guys? Starting to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and close there and uh, we'll finish it tomorrow. You guys have a really great day. David Vos.